I, I do want to hear from Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, gentlemen, um, this is all pretty old stuff. I was looking through the file this morning, and this goes back to the state's reconstruction of Ocean Boulevard in 1959. Um, and those sidewalks were rebuilt in the early 1990s when the state spent $250,000 on trying to fix things up. Um, and as Bill will tell you, $250,000 is just about enough to scratch the top of this table today. It's not going to do very much. Just to give you the right figures, the town currently has 12.97 miles of sidewalk that we clear. That's another 6.64 miles of sidewalk that we do not clear. Uh, and <laughs> comes to 22? Comes to 22. Yeah. Round figures, 22. Right. Um, if uh, we reach an agreement with the state, which is not a bad idea. I think Bill and I tried to do this at one point a number of years ago, and that just didn't work out. Um, we would be adding uh, 2.51 miles, which would be the sidewalks on the west side of Ocean Boulevard, according to their figures. Uh, the east side has 4.09, which Dredd takes care of. That's part of their responsibilities. Um, and there are other additional sidewalks in town, but they're very small. Um, nothing that we actually get to maintain or the state gets to maintain. Uh, I listened to Senator Stiles when she was here, and, and she had a darn good suggestion, and that was that the people who live along Ocean Boulevard should help clear. Unfortunately, our state Supreme Court declared that to be unconstitutional about uh, 60 or 70 years ago. So that's out of the picture, even though the town has accepted that statute uh, and it's currently still in the books. Um, it goes back to a law in the 1890s that the legislature passed and has subsequently been declared unconstitutional. So without amending the Constitution, we're not going to get anywhere with that. So let's move on from that, that particular item. Um, this is a completely different proposition than what was pr proposed before. And Bill and I both worked on what was proposed before. Uh, the only reason that was stopped was because of a personal telephone call I received from the commissioner at the time, who was no longer the commissioner, who said that uh, cooperation between the town and the state on this issue was dead on sidewalks. We're not talking about it. I said, that's fine. That's, that's okay. That's your privilege. Uh, and basically it stopped the talk. Uh, although that wasn't the intention. I know Bill was ready to sit down and do an MOU, and so was I. Um, I think what you see here is something that's going to have to go through governor and council, and it's going to have to be a formal proposal that will live with time, because it's got to be a breathing document. This can't be something that's stagnant and, and dead if you're going to do something of this nature. Um, there needs to be close cooperation between DRED, DOT, and the town to do something of this nature. and. Um, it can be done, but this is completely different than what was proposed before. So I think this is worth looking at. I think this is something that we should look at. I think it's something that we should spend some time on. Uh, how the how the board decides they want to do that is their decision, not mine. Um, but I would suggest that we have something rather than an MOU, but actually a contractual agreement between the state and the town to uh, carry out the responsibilities that would be enamored in such a wonderful document, uh, if we can get the bloody thing done, and I hope we can. Um, it would save the town a lot of money, it will save the state a lot of money, and it will save the people a lot of money. And I think that's where we're all trying to go. That's where we're trying to go before with this. Uh, but an MOU won't cut it this time. I think it's got to be a, an actual governor and council document so that when we both want to make a change, we go to them and they, they okay it, and there's a third party that looks at it. So uh, I could go into a lot of detail on, on uh, our past discussions. I can go into a lot of detail on things that I've learned from going through the file, but I think it would just add a lot of conversation that's not necessary at this point. Uh, you need to take a few minutes and not knee-jerk react to the first blush you see. I think you need to explore this, and there is very specific wording here, and it has very specific meanings. And um, having
having this, spent 30 years in public works, I can tell you that uh, somebody handed this to me as a public works director, the first thing I'd say is I want my legal counsel to look at it because I want to know exactly what it says. And, and, and no fooling around about it, we all need to go in the same direction. And that direction should be to do something that's constructive for everybody. So, thank you. Mr. Chairman. Well, hold on first. Mr. Bean had asked a question, so I want to make sure his, his questions were answered. Wait, did I ask you a question? Yeah, so you're saying there, the there needs to be a legal chance. Is that your advice on this? These are words. Mm -hmm. They have specific meanings when put together in this particular form. And I think we all should know from the standpoint, from the legal standpoint, what those words mean when constructed in this particular format. So we're all operating from the same base. So there's no question about what we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, it's no good to get down the road and find out that this means something besides what we think it means. And this is still a, a, a state piece of property that the town of Hampton will be maintaining, is that correct? From this, yes. Oh, is that correct? Yes. And so there would there would need to be... Uh, it's got to be an agreement. And... Got it. And we don't have one now. Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mr. Yeah. Um, I think to, to both of your comments, um, you know, it's assumed right now, Selectman Bean, to the to the ultimate construction reconstruction of Ocean Boulevard. If there wants to be a conversation about ownership and transfer of ownership from the state to the town of any portion of the road or the sidewalks, that's that's a conversation that can be had. I'm not saying we should. I'm not saying we have to. But that's that's part of the project development process. That's a requirement for us to to at least look into those things. So that's that's a and that's not something any of us can answer tonight. What that looks like that 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 has to happen through the design process, to the wording of the motion that or the recommendation that's been placed in front of you that now forms a motion. I know that's the recommendation from the Beach Commission. If in your review with the town attorney or amongst yourselves, um, there needs to be some modification to that wording so that when conversation of an agreement moves forward and, and that negotiating and compromising happens with, with the department, so that we put something in front of GNC ultimately, if that's our collective goal, then don't be wedded to the wording in here. We'd be willing to, to compromise and, and have that communication that, that, um, so that we walk away with a common understanding and a comfortable understanding. We just want the conversation to happen. Well, I think we all do. 